Well, if you love bouncy windows, and you basically love also seeing which window is actually focused by having it bounce, then hyperfocus is it for you. As you can see over here, I have a bunch of windows open, and whenever I hover over them and focus on one of the windows, they basically bounce up and down, showing that they're the one that's currently focused. So if you want to know how to make something like this, it's basically right here, pretty simple. It shouldn't take too long. All we have to do is configure animations and then variables. Now, <laughs> once you set up the animations, configuring the variables is pretty simple. Don't get confused like I did and basically think that the variables is supposed to go inside of the animations or something like that, because that's not how it works. If you've read other readmes of Hyperland plugins, you'll know that you're supposed to configure this by adding in hyperfocus and then a bunch of braces and then adding in these variables inside of those. Okay, now, how do you actually set these animations up? It's pretty simple. If I go to config hyper modules animations somewhere over here, right? And here it's in riverine horizontal. Now I actually named this set of animations as riverine because they flow like a river. They're just that smooth, right? And also, if you want to know what this modules folder is all about, you can just go ahead and click the first link in the description. I teach you exactly what this is, along with how to make a custom theme switcher like this one without having to waste time basically searching and sifting through YouTube tutorials and basically Reddit threads and a hell of a lot more, and then just wasting your time. So if you want to know how to make something like this, I will teach you so that you don't have to just go on somebody's GitHub repo and then basically just copy that work and put it onto yours and call it your own dot files because trust me, they're not. You've literally just copied them, okay? Don't monkey see and monkey do your setup. Actually learn how it works so that you don't have to go about breaking and basically troubleshooting your own setup after doing the breaking yourself. So don't do that. Go ahead, click the first link and learn how to make something like this yourself because trust me, in the long run, not only is that much more satisfying and fulfilling, but you're actually able to troubleshoot stuff when things break. Something that you do not have the liberty to do if you're actually using somebody else's dot files. So don't, don't be a monkey see, monkey do person. Go ahead, learn how to do this. Even if not from me, you can just learn from somebody who's actually done it before, okay? And just don't be a dummy. <laughs> what else can I say, right? So let's just go here. And as for hyperfocus, I've just added in both of these animations. Now, the actual thing you're supposed to use in order to target the hyperfocus animations are these two words, hyperfocus in and out. Okay, once you do that, you have to type in the speed. So that's going to be one, 1 1.7, that's probably the scale. Okay, you're gonna have to refer to the animation documentation in order to know what this is. But by default, this is what you have and it works. And lastly, what you have to put in here is basically the Bezier curve. So a Bezier curve is basically a list of numbers, you have four numbers that basically dictate Okay, how exactly a uh, animation is supposed to look. That's what that's for. And I've just I've just declared MD3 what's this Excel over here, and then that has a bunch of numbers, floating point numbers, which dictate how the hyperfocus animation is actually going to go. I can use something like linear, although that's not here. I can replace this with let's say menu, menu, Excel, and it's going to be a little bit different, right? compared to actually focusing out, it's a bit different. So you can configure your own Bezier curves and then add that in over here. That's it for the animation part. As for actually configuring plugin part, that one's pretty simple. You just go to here. And right now, by default, actually, the mode is not going to be slide, it's going to be flash. So when it flashes, this is what it does. Okay, so it reduces opacity temporarily, and then raises it back to full which creates a flashing effect. Now there are three different options we can use to configure either the fade opacity, bounce strength, so how hard it bounces, and then slide height. So I'll show you what bounce is about, but before that, you're supposed to configure fade opacity. So let me show you that first, fade opacity. Let's say I make it 0.5, it's just going to flash even more, that's it. This is going to make the flash even more apparent, that's it. Then after that, we have bounce. If I type here, bounce strength, a bounce strength, I say, what's this? This is going to be a floating point number. So we can change that to something like 0.5. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it bounces quite a lot. You can change it to 0 0.8, 0 0.98. 
to keep the effect fairly small, or even 0.99, keep it extremely small and just uh, know that the window is actually updated and whatnot. Okay, that's for bounce. And then after that, we have, lastly, slide. Slide is whatever we had earlier, okay, when you first saw the opening, right? Slide height, you can change that to something like 50, really send the window to the moon. Ta-da, change it to 100, the window's probably gonna clip, yep, it clips the screen. You can change it to 200, really have fun with it, really have the window clip the screen, change it to 1000, the window's probably gonna disappear for a couple of seconds. Okay, not enough actually. We might need a million to mess around with this. <laughs> okay, no, they've actually most likely capped it. So even if we add 10 billion here, the window is never actually going to escape a certain threshold. But not so fun, but yeah, <laughs> it is what it is, right? So this is what it is by default. This actually seems more like bouncy behavior than bounce itself, but story for another day, right? Slide, slide high 20, you can change it to something like 15 to still keep it minimal and not lose your mind as you're trying to switch between windows. You can also keep it extremely slight, so the window barely moves and updates, but still gives you that feel. And that's basically it. That is exactly how you can use hyperfocus to be more focused as you're working on your windows. If you want to know how to make a custom theme switcher like this one, and basically learn how to do it, and not just monkey see, monkey do, copy and paste somebody else's dot files, right? Because that's fun only temporarily. It's kind of like cheating. If you've ever played a video game in the past before, you've probably used cheats, right? If you've played Minecraft, you've probably gone into creative or just gotten so pissed off after being killed by a zombie, okay, by a baby zombie, no less, that you just hack into creative and then basically give yourself diamond armor and go kill all the baby zombies that are around your house, right? <laughs> totally not speaking from personal experience, but anyway, right? Cheating is only fun temporarily. Yes, you had fun killing all those baby zombies, but then, come on, you just ruined that world. You're gonna have to go and create another world. Same thing with dot files. So instead of basically just cloning somebody else's dot files and then using that for yourself and then just changing one thing or two, just have the satisfaction of learning how to make this thing for yourself so that not only when things break, you're actually able to fix them, but then you can take pride in yourself knowing that you were the one who, in a slew and basically a sea of other Hyperland users, you were the only one who thought to actually think about this stuff and then make a setup for yourself instead of just copying somebody else's. That is my wisdom to you. Click the link and I will impart more to... Damn, that actually rhymed. Okay. <laughs> that actually rhymed. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising. And killing baby zombies.